Today's video is very kindly brought to you by my favorites in web design at Squarespace. <laughs> my beautiful friends and welcome back to another video I hope you've been keeping very well today I thought that I would share with you a classic what I eat in a day video with some really delicious vegan recipes as always you can find the recipes in today's video linked down in the description box below which will take you to my website and I do want to take a quick moment to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video because without Squarespace I would not be able to upload recipes to said website as we know I am not a super tech savvy person but by using Squarespace I have I found it really really easy to create and build my own website and on that website I have the ability to upload recipes and uploading recipes I find super easy because they are really really simple blogging tools which means that I can also have them ready to go and then when I upload a video I can just click publish and make them public to the world as well as that I love the ability to be able to link my podcast and my YouTube channel and my Instagram very easily to my website which I literally was able to do with the click of a button so yeah if you are interested in creating your own website whether that be to build your brand to host a blog or just have a space to share things that you want to share with the world I highly encourage using Squarespace to do so you can get a free trial of Squarespace by heading to squarespace.com and then when you are ready to launch your website you can head to squarespace.com slash Amanda Ducks and use my code code Amanda Ducks to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, thank you so much to Squarespace for working with me on today's video. Let's get into what I ate in a day as a vegan. <laughs> For breakfast this morning, I decided to make some soaked oats, which I am loving at the moment. I used oats as well as chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, and sunflower seeds, and then I mixed it together with some homemade almond milk, coconut yogurt, and maple syrup. It looks really creamy, as you can tell, and I put this in the fridge for about half an hour to allow it to set. Once it was set, I pulled it out of the fridge and this is when you can go toppings galore and put pretty much whatever you would like on top. I love stone fruit so much, so I decided to chop up some plums and then to top the soaked oats, I put some almond butter as well as some more coconut yogurt. I then put some shredded coconut as well as some chopped walnuts. And then on top of that, I decided to put uh, the plums that I had chopped up. And oh my goodness, these were so good. I also then topped it with some fresh strawberries as well as a drizzle of maple syrup. This was super, super fresh and filling, but at the same time, it was really, really hearty. Overall, it was just a really, really beautiful way to start the day. I highly recommend trying this out at home with whatever nuts and seeds and oats uh, you have in your pantry. This was really a day of hearty food. I decided to make some crispy kale to go with my lunch, which I just fried in a frying pan with some oil. And then I decided to also make some smoky baked beans, which I am loving at the moment. I put some cannellini beans into a pot with some sauce and liquid smoke and salt and maple, and I mixed it together and heated it up. This is a really, really quick and easy and delicious breakfast usually, but I really enjoy it for lunch as well. Today I decided to serve it with a toasted bagel as well as the crispy kale that I had previously made and yeah this was so hearty and so delicious. I highly recommend if you haven't had baked beans in a while making it yourself at home, serving it with your favorite bread and your favorite veggies. It makes for a really really delicious and nourishing and filling start to the day. I am so glad that I have rediscovered them just as the cooler weather starts to approach here in Australia. They are so good. Thank you. 
So I knew I felt like something sweet as a snack and I was really feeling doing some baking. So I decided to use some almond butter as well as a flax egg and some brown sugar. And this got me on the road to making some brownies. The difference with these brownies is that I made them gluten-free with some almond meal as well as buckwheat flour. And then I also added in some cocoa powder as well as protein powder to make them like choc almond butter protein brownies. I also added in a pinch of salt and then I added in some soy milk. You could use whatever plant-based milk that you like though. And I mixed this together until we got a nice, beautiful brownie batter. Looking at this, the brownies that I made in today's video are sitting on the counter and I'm like, I'm gonna have to go and eat one right as I finish this voiceover. Anyway, I also added in some chocolate chunks, just some dark chocolate chunks, and then I mixed this all together until it was nice and smooth and nice and well combined. You could add choc chips, you could add walnuts, you could add almonds, you could add many different things here that you would like to. And then I poured it into a lined brownie tin. I mean, I guess this is the ideal tin for brownies, to be honest, so. Anyway, point is I put this into the oven to bake. All of the instructions will be in the recipe post on my website. And oh my goodness, these turned out super, super well. They are really, really fluffy and decadent. And I love the flavor of protein powder in brownies. As you can see, they have such an ideal texture. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as I enjoyed making it because yeah, it is so delicious. And like I said, I'm gonna go eat a brownie like right now. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may know that I'm currently obsessed with these creamy coconut lentils, which I have been having a lot lately, like a lot. Anyway, to make these, I start with some garlic and spring onion with a little bit of oil into a pot. Then I add lentils as well as coconut cream, salt, some curry powder, and some pepper. Really, really simple. Uh, these honestly do not take long at all, which is why I have been loving them so much. And the theme of today's video seems to be quite a lot of hearty food, because this is one of my favorite hearty meals at the moment as well. I personally really enjoy serving this with some yellow rice. So I cooked up some yellow rice. I topped it with my creamy coconut lentils. Oh my goodness, they look so good. And then I topped it with some coconut yogurt as well. I love coconut yogurt so much, especially on savory food. I think it adds such a great kick of flavor and texture. I topped it with some snow pea sprouts for aesthetic. And yeah, this was a really beautiful way to end a wonderful day of vegan eats. Okay, my beautiful friends, that was everything I ate in a day as a vegan. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I really hope you enjoy the recipes. If you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram on your stories so I can check it out and I can see you enjoying the food. And as always, a big thank you for just being here and supporting me in my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it so much. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye.